Hello my beautiful 40 and children and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I am stuffy free for the most part. Fucking shit it done. <laughs> anyway, we are back with another Russian roulette video. And uh, this chapter is called Blackmail is such an ugly word. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know why I'm laughing. <coughs> Death. After the ordeal at the library, the four of them left to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning back to their dorm room. The school allows students to go to the dining hall at any time after school, but even so, it closes at 8 p.m. every night. America and Russia were the first of learn to get food. After getting their share, they made their way to the deserted four-person table. Why is it that now when I start recording, I get a bit stuffy? How <laughs> does that work? I've been fine all day. Not enough to sniff frilling, but like still enough to end my voice so it sounds a little bit off. America and Russia. Okay, fucking shit. The prince started. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it is it is uh, twelve thirty at night currently, and I will be registering for college later. Technically today. Yay! <laughs> the prince started eating almost immediately after they sat down. The dragon stared awkwardly at his food. It was quite high quality to be expected of a prestigious academy such as this one. You aren't gonna eat? America raised an eyebrow. The Russian lifted his head to face the shorter male. Can I? Bruin! <laughs> How am I treated at the end of me to get permission to fucking eat? <laughs> it's discrimination. You guys might hear my brother yelling a little bit in the background because he's playing video games and he's very loud. <laughs> I can be very loud too sometimes. But when I'm recording, I try to be a bit more quiet. Not quiet enough to what you guys can't hear me, but like, to which I'm not bothering <laughs> I know you're not used to getting high quality food served to you every day, but is it really necessary to ask? The prince retorted with another question. Russia lifted his hand, but America handed a fork over to him. Don't use your hands. <laughs> this is like full blown fucking racism. The cult. The cutlery was a fine craftsmanship with exquisite patterns etched into it. The taller male stared blankly at the fork before taking it. It's been ages since he's used one of these. Luckily, he hadn't forgotten how to. Yeah, it would be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> the first bite he took made his eyes sparkle. He'd never eaten something so good. His usual meals consisted of hunted prey cooked over a small fire. It was practical and did the job. Shit, bro. Ladies look beautiful. <laughs> His eyes kind of look a little Asian in this picture. I do like him a lot, though. He likes a little hat. He's very cute. America noted his excitement. This made a smile tug on his lips. The prince spun his eating utensil between his fingers. His gaze landed on South and North, who had just gotten their food. <laughs> talent. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is a Country Humans AU, and I know it's a Russian fan fiction, but it is like so well written. It has a really good freaking plot, and it's just, it could be a novel if it wasn't an AU <laughs> or fan fiction for that matter. The prince waved at them and ushered them to come over, clearly implying he wanted to eat with the twins. North grimaced at the sight of this and tried to pull his brother away to find a different table. 
fucking mouse has spiderweb on it. What the hell? Okay, anyways. <laughs> Sal stopped him and whispered something in his ear. So with that, the brothers reluctantly sat them. Probably like nobody else is gonna want to sit with them. We just gotta go sit with them. <laughs> Cause racism. They noticed Russia, who was joyfully enjoying himself, and they completely understood considering his background. South gave America a slight smile. Thanks for earlier. If any of us did that, we would have been blamed. It was sad. it was sincere. <laughs> No worry about it. I found them annoying anyway. North furrowed his brows in displeasure. Why bother helping insignificant flies like us? Why pretend to be a good guy? You're the military dog after all. The Cretan dragon couldn't shake off the suspicion in the back of his head. His brother felt the same way, but South tends to keep to himself more. You must understand me. I never intend to be the good guy. Heroes have to keep winning while villains just went after win once. There was a pause, then he continued. I'd rather take it easy. Besides, I have no interest in doing charity work. I have something I want from you too. <laughs> the prince's voice was calm. No. As can be devoid of emotions, but any normal person would register his voice like a threat. Very threatening. <laughs> oh my god, just ASMR. <laughs> this is a very nice mic actually. It picks up everything and that's the only issue. North shot up from his seat and grabbed the prince's collar, pulling him towards the Korean dragon. He extended his claws. He, ex he extended claws. <laughs> Fucking kiss people. <laughs> See, even though I read this before, I still don't go in script. His extended claws were inches away from America's neck. It could pierce him right through with one wrong move. Russia also got up and extended his claws, grabbing North's hand and. With frightening strength, it pierced through North's skins, but fortunately his strength and his skin in time so that the Russian's claws didn't chop his hand right off. It still hurt, but would, but would cause... <coughs> Y'all, I can't even... And would cause injury. Just as bad as missing a leg. North could feel blood trickling down his arm and staining his sleeve. The scent of iron was especially prominent. North. Don't you dare try to hurt me or my brother. Hands off, Russia declared. Why are you defending someone like him? Aren't you supposed to be against the royals, especially after how they treated us? I said, hands off. The Russian repeated each word at a time. North scoffed. It's not like I'm stealing your prey. Or am I? Russia's gaze turned chillingly cold. I'd rather not get my head chopped off. Now do as I say. I'd rather not get my hand, hand what what the fuck? What the, I don't know what the fuck at this point South lifted his hand, hand to to the pierce piece of cloth on his neck that resembled a blindfold. He seemed ready to fight. The entire time America just let himself get pulled with a shit eating grin on his face. Buzz <laughs> entertained by all of this. The Korean dragon stared back and slowly let go of America's collar. What a disappointment, North muttered. Russia, in return, also let go of his bleeding arm. Only then did South relax and pry his hand off of the cloth on his neck. Luckily, the dining hall was fairly empty, so not many people witnessed the dispute that happened at their table. They continued to eat in silence when South and North were about to leave America spoke up. Meet me at the East Wing tomorrow after school. I have something to discuss with you two. With all due respect, Your Highness, your offer is quite suspicious. <laughs> Everyone knows the East Wing is deserted, the deserted part of school with hardly any people. South Oliver grabbed his tray and stood up. Russia stared at America with confusion written all over his face. Don't worry, I won't hurt either of you. Just hear me out for a second tomorrow. 
The words came from his mouth, sounded sincere to say the least. South and North discussed amongst themselves for a good few minutes. Their mouths moved, yet no sound came out when they were not looking at each other either. The prince and Dragon Duo noticed this, and they were both intrigued. You know, if you don't agree, I can always tell the headmaster student just tried to attack me. America cut in with an innocent tone. <laughs> Blackmail. South snapped his head towards the prince in disbelief. Are you blackmailing us? America raised both his eyebrows. Blackmailing is such an ugly word. I prefer to call it an offer you can't decline. America rested his head on the palm, his palm and smirked. He's so cocky. I absolutely love him in this video. The twins were speechless. Okay, we'll hear you out. But if you try anything, South decided as he glow glowed menacingly. I won't. I won't. Don't worry. S see you at the door. The American waved goodbye to the both of them as they left the dining hall. The problem with your plan is how you're going to convince them that you aren't shitting around with your idea. Rush suddenly spoke up. He conversed as he ate. His food was surprisingly not done yet. He ate slower to savor every bite. America hummed in acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. I have a vague idea, but I'll figure out something by tomorrow. He had already gotten up with his tray to leave. By the way, you look extra. <laughs> By the way, you look extra good looking when when you glare at people. <laughs> Sorry, he's, he's teasing is great too. <laughs> it's beautiful. America offhandedly said as he chuckled. Russia was baffled. Whenever America complimented him or teased him, it gave him shivers. Yet surprisingly, it wasn't shivers or fright or disgust. Russia just finished and started cleaning up. Well, I was just doing my job. Good boy. America grinned. He patted the Russian on the head a few times. Well, it was technically the hat. <laughs> just dog. Good boy. Pat, pat. <laughs> he's, he's, he's so weird. But he's great. <laughs> This made the hat slide down his face and covered his eyes. Russia froze on the spot and dropped his tray back onto the table with a loud clang. <laughs> Chris said, what the fuck? <laughs> By the time the Russian fixed his Joshinka, the prince was already gone. The dragon stood there in the same spot for a moment, for a few minutes before snapping out of it. He picked up his tray in one hand. Meanwhile, the other was placed in the air with his hat of his hat where America had pat him. If he's just like dumbfounded, like did he just pet me like a dog? <laughs> just like yes, pat pat. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> it was fairly it was a in this fairly empty dining hall, there was a person who sat on the stairs, staring at Russia. It seemed they'd been watching the table for quite a while, probably ever since they walked in. Their long hair slid down your shoulders as they grimly picked themselves up. How interesting, they grinned mysteriously. Um, long hair, China. It's definitely China. And you all will understand why later. Anyway, he's such a cutie, just look at him, he really is. Oh lord. Anyways, that's it for this chapter, you guys, and I just want to show this beautiful little art piece again with this little cutie enjoying his food. Me too. Me too, though. The table. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, I love you, my beautiful Indian children, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.